kick it. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, hello, hello. What is going on? Unblinded movement, unblinded family. We are starting off today on this beautiful, thankful Thursday with some new technology, some new format, all in service, a forward movement of you, your money, your time, your magic. My name's Fernando. I'm here with the unblinded team, Jared, Sean, Callie himself is going to be jumping on momentarily. For now, let's start breaking down some of the new formats. So as you come in, um, because we have different optics now, if you can go in the chat and just drop your name and where you're calling from. So let's go in the chat, drop your name and where you're calling from. Let's get the chat on fire. You'll be one of the first people to communicate with this new style. So get your clicking and keyboard fingers going. And let's start dropping put in some names and where you're calling from, some names and where you're calling from. And as you're doing that, now that you have a little bit of privacy and um, you, know, you don't have to be clicking and jumping on and speaking, we'd like to know if you're new. So if you're new to the group, and let's define new as under 30 days for now. So you have, if you have been on the call for under 30 days, um, let's put that in there. So let's put 30 days. If you've been in the unblinded movement or in the morning huddle for less than 30 days, Let's drop the word 30 days in the group chat so we can see you. We want to know. We want to have some optics. We want to know um, as you drop 30 days, who invited you? So let's start putting it in. 30 days, who invited you? 30 days, who invited you? And you are considered a new member of this group. And I'm super excited to be sharing these opportunities with you. So we have Gerald. Gerald is new from New Mexico. We have Athena TV. You are new in here. Thank you so much. We have Romana. Romana, that's a name I haven't seen. Oh my goodness, I'm loving this already. From Michigan, what is happening? Super excited to have all of you in here. We have Dr. Akiba, Akiba Green. That is a, just a beautifully interesting name. Thank you so much for being here. So if you are bringing someone new, if you are bringing someone new, let's drop that in there as well. So 30 days, I'm new from Michigan and, you know, Jared invited me. So let's start figuring out who invited who. This is incredible. I Iwana, you are in the chat. Yes. So that is, that is funny. You are there. Jared, I see you've invited a few new people on here. Jared's been on fire. Just absolutely crushed a powerful webinar yesterday on how to do webinars. So it was exceptional. Super happy to have all of you in here. We have Chinwe from Sparta. So let's keep dropping that in. We're going to wait a few more minutes. And uh, we're going to kick this off and get started. Super excited to have all these attendees in here with us. And I'm just loving every second of this new moment. So let's start dropping in your name and where you're calling from. We got um, Paulo from Portugal. Super amazing. We have Paul is new, invited by Jared. We have Kimberly, uh, invited by Jared. That is awesome. We have Rick from Florida. So let's start writing in who is new, under 30 days, where you're from, and who invited you. And then everyone else, all our leaders, let's write your name and where you're calling in from as we see these attendees' numbers soar. Totally grateful. Totally amazing. Fernando, I think I'm winning the source challenge today. And guess what? Brother. Sean Callagy in the house, ready to rock and roll. So, Sean Callagy, you are off mute, my man. Let's do your thing. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Jared. Good morning, Fernando. Good morning, Adam Gugino and everybody from the Unblinded community. Fantastic job, Jared, last night and everyone. That was on that call and fantastic job from everybody being on this call this morning. Um, so for those that have been here and for those that are new, we are um, having some slight distinctions in how we're modifying this format to create maximum impact. The reason we're here each and every day is to uh, support people in creating more money in less time with more magic. And what this isn't is a place just to gather and to feel good and get some inspiration, aspiration. We're definitely here to have some inspiration and aspiration. We're also here to talk about technical dynamics um, of accelerating sales in a fun way though, because like technical skill development does not have to equal not fun. The closest analogy model would be enhancing your skill with skills on a peak performance team, whether you're part of a band, a singing group, an athletic endeavor. My background is from athletics and we're matching the dynamics where I had tremendous coaches supporting me and confronting myself confronting the overall process dynamics of what I was up to and improving my skill sets and inspiring me to use them on a daily basis to move forward. What we are not doing is thinking about um, supporting our growth in money, time, and magic. We're not supporting thinking about it only. We're supporting launching forward and doing it each and every day. So we just came off of recording three days, um, 30 modules 
for launching forward in an amazing new program, which we'll share more about shortly. But what's present for me, though, is during that entire process that I had, I am giving a model for me and comparing it to you, had a number of different things that I was up to. Um, I'm running a 125-person law firm, and there's the coronavirus. And we have massive challenges in terms of uh, how we continue to service our clients as courts are closing, uh, insurance companies, which we deal with on behalf of medical providers, are not present. Um, people are very concerned. Uh, we have social distancing, creating people working remotely from home, uh, plus the Unblinded Corporation, uh, which is not just a movement, but it's a company. And people work there, and now they're working remotely, and we have programs and different things that we're doing. I bring these up because I want to connect on the idea that there's real challenges for me. And I am facing them, and I am dealing with them, and I have feelings about them and thoughts about them and concerns about them. So I am connecting on the idea that people, uh, including me, have real disruptions, their cash flow, their income, and what's happening. So what we don't do here is we don't come on the huddle and pretend that things aren't the way they are. What we also do um, and don't do is we make sure that we're clear that things aren't worse than they are. We deal with what is. We find um, creative and inspirational ways to move forward, and I'll drop right in on the three parts of the results formula. 23 years ago, um, after not becoming a professional athlete because of my eyesight, I realized that selling, influencing, was a critically important part of advancing forward in freedom and a capitalist structure, and it was a horrible epiphany for me. I also realized that as an attorney, the way I was going to gain my freedom was not by listening simply to what the assignments people gave me to go research cases uh, in a library, not by writing briefs. It was going to be by becoming a successful entrepreneur and leveraging growing my own business. The challenge was I had no idea how to do that. And in fact, I didn't even want to do that. I wanted to be happy. I wanted to be proud. I wanted to have financial security and eventually independence and freedom. And I had no roadmap to do it. So I went on a mission to find out what it looked like to do it. And what I found was there was awesome amounts of disconnected information all over the place. But that disconnected information was leading me to massive challenges. Case in point, I, would, I quit my job um, at a major law firm, uh, was my dream job, and started my own law firm, my credit card. And all of a sudden I heard, go, go to networking events. And I went to my first networking event. And I walked into the room and I had no idea what to do, literally. I thought people would just refer me business. It was silly. It was foolish. I thought, then I started learning and people said, oh, learn a seven second memory hook. I'm like, well, that seems kind of cheesy and like doesn't seem to like resonate. And I'm, I'm learning this and I'm talking about it and people are looking at me like I'm weird. It's not connecting. Like why, like why am I getting this information from people who've written books, built organizations of hundreds of thousands of people and it's not connecting. And then I said, I heard publicly speak. So I started putting together a talk and I did it and it was, it was horrible. It didn't land. I felt foolish. I felt confused because I was doing the things people were saying and they weren't landing and working. And then I would go to personal development events and I went, I started learning things and some of it was really working. The first event I ever went to uh, was a Tony Robbins event called the competitive edge. And he was giving me the beginning thoughts on influencing structure and it felt right, he, and, and he told me to go model and read other people's work, and I started reading books in NLP, neuro-linguistic program, and as I did, uh, and, and Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People, and, it, and it, was, it was beautiful, it was interesting, it was exciting, it was insightful, and I found once again, though, there wasn't a structure, so okay, I match and mirror somebody, now what? I sit the way they do, um, I, I, I try to use the tone of voice they do, but it's not enough, it's not working. And so the challenge for me became, how do I put all of this together? So when I walk into a bookstore and there's thousands of books on personal development, how do you apply it? How do you connect it? How do you make it so it's practical, tangible, usable? How is it scalable? How can you give it, not only do it, but give it to somebody else? And within two years of doing this, I had 40 people working for me in my law firm. And for those of you that have heard this story, listen to your new prism. Listen through the prism of what's possible right now for you. Because building a 40-person law firm in my 20s, two years out of law school, it was impossible for people. Like I'd sit down and write my dreams, and 
I had vision things I wanted for my family, for my children, for like everything in my life to give to loved ones. And I'd have these deep burning desires. I write about my why. I have tears in my eyes. And then I'd struggle. And I'd have people say no to me. And I had people look at me like I was crazy. My friends were making fun of me as I was buying CD programs in, in those days, as I was going to personal development seminars. And my goodness, when I hired coaches and paid them $10,000 a month after I began to have acceleration and success, everybody told me I was completely crazy and getting ripped off. And in many situations, they would be right. Not that I was getting ripped off, but it wouldn't work. But with, with creating a formula, and that's what I began to call it, like, the formula, I began to see acceleration. I began to see organized structure. So what we do each day here is we apply that formula that led me to building a 40-person law firm two years out of law school. I've never heard somebody doing it before. Going from $100,000 in debt to having my son Tyler's first birthday party on the rooftop of my beach house, my grandparents, my aunts, my cousins, my entire family there with tears in my eyes as, I, as it stood for me, not for an accomplishment for me, what was possible for humanity. Like this was possible. Two years before I was in debt, broke, scared. Now I drove my convertible sports car up to my beach house, held my one-year-old son, had my family with tears in their eyes taking pictures as the sun was shining brightly all over the sunset, going in the ocean. It was just like, like one of those magical moments, if not the most magical moment. In fact, yeah, pause. Up to that point in my life, this was in 1999, it was the most magical moment of my entire life, standing on top of that roof deck, and it burned it so deeply into my heart and my soul that every time I go to that beach house, and it's 21 years later, I stand on that roof deck when I get there and when I leave, even though I'm legally blind now. And for the most part, I, I, I can't see any, I can't see the water, even peripherally. I have some peripheral vision. I still can't see the water. But I listen to the waves. I feel the energy of what's occurred on that rooftop over 21 years and share it with my friends, my family, my loved ones. And it's not, you know, a 20 bedroom mansion, but it's a beautiful place of my heart and my soul. And then I bought one right across the street. So I have 12 bedrooms that are down there that I've shared with friends, family, for business purposes, for beautiful value adding for people, for connection, for just incredible moments. And those places stand for me on this huddle that this is all possible and it's possible right now where people think it's not possible. Because the people told me then nobody is going to buy from a 27-year-old lawyer. He was 19. You're too young. My uncle, who had some level of success and he was the first person in my indirect family line to go to college, said, you're not ready. My parents, people, my family said I wasn't ready. It couldn't be done. Everybody told me the same thing. And they, like, like the media is now, is wrong about what's possible. And I'm not saying not to honor quarantines and challenges and possibilities because it's real. There's all sorts of amazing challenges. But if people say that right now it can't be done, they're wrong. And people are going to make it happen. People are going to get these things done. And it begins with our belief structure and our self-mastery. And our, our self-mastery is what we do, what we do with getting ourselves to take action. The first beautiful challenge I'd lay out there, our question is, what is it that you did yesterday? What did you do the day before? And what were you doing in those processes that would continue to ensure more money coming in, if that matters to you? Like, what did you do to ensure the maintenance of money coming in and the expansion of new money coming in by adding value to people? So. Our zone action is rooted first in the questions we ask ourselves. And the question I'm asking myself is, how do I add more massive value, me, to my ecosystem? How do, I, how do I work with my team on the next huddle I'm going to do right after this with my team at Calgary Law? How do I ensure, and a lot of those folks in this line right now, how do we ensure that we're going to add massive value to our existing clients right now so we continue in each team at Calgary 125 people we have to generate more revenue. How do we unblind it, add massive value when we're not going to be able to do live events? Because there's, there's, right now my belief is there's nothing like a live event. And I'm shifting that to belief to say, live events are amazing. 
there's nothing like a virtual event. There's nothing like adding value. There's more leverage to it. There's less time investment to it. There's less energetic output. So it's even better, right? And whether it's objectively true or not, I'm going to shape my beliefs and challenge you to shape your beliefs around what you can control. What can you control? And let's shape our beliefs that way. Like I'm believing I'm quarantined for six months. That may not be true, but I'm going to operate that way. And I'm not going to allow myself to be frustrated if that's what actually happens. I'm going to believe that because I can't control it. So I'm going to go to the worst case scenario. At least six months gives me a bunch of time. I don't think it's going to be more than that, but six months, right? I hope it's going to be a lot less. And I'm going to believe that. I'm going to accept that. I'm not going to live in denial. I'm not going to live in resistance. I'm not going to give energy any other way. And then the question I'm going to challenge you to ask yourself is, what can we do if we're in that six months to create more value, more income than we've ever had in our entire life with integrity by adding massive value to people? And in our brainstorming and that self-mastery, we don't limit ourselves by what's possible. We just put stuff on the board. We put things like, like you could say, I'm going to create a million-person movement online. Don't go to the how yet. Just brainstorm massively. Believe first it's possible, and then we'll get into reality. So the self-mastery check-in for today is what questions are you empowering yourself with, accepting like worst-case scenarios, accept that there's going to be massive resistance to people doing any work with you online. Accept that. There's going to be massive resistance, and it doesn't matter anyway because you're, because you're going to find enough value to uniquely assemble people online. You're going to find enough value to call people one-on-one -on -one and create leverage and speaking engagements online with them. You're going to create referrals with them. You're going to have find ways to create so much value, it's going to be mind-blowing. That's self-mastery. Series of questions number one, right? What can you ask yourself in the context of what you can control for sure and ask yourself that question? Now, what you may be saying is, well, I can't control influence of people online. And the answer is you absolutely can. So let's step into our influence mastery. Our influence mastery check-in for today Influence Mastery is the second part of the three-part results formula. It is, it is this piece, that the essential power skill set that we have inside of us is the ability to go from low to yes and influence other people. So in our Influence Mastery, the question is how do we maximize that? And we have a formula. It's not saying, well, go figure it out somewhere. We deliver that here. Four steps, 10 indispensable elements, and four energies. And the jump off place for today that we just want to check into is the dynamic of matching and mirroring. Let's step in there. In our matching and mirroring, we want to make sure we meet people where they are, not where we want to be, not where we are, where they are. So we're going to come in just below their energy. So with Fran, a friend of your live brother. Can you guys hear me? Is anybody muted? I'm muted. Yep, I'm live, Sean. Yep. So, hey, Fernando, um, hey. We'll check in. You know, let them make a phone call. Hey, hey, listen, I'm so thankful that you've been, you know, a client or a friend, whoever. Like, how you doing with everything that's happening right now? Oh, man, you know, just just trying to trying to figure it all out. Dude, what's wrong? Everything's great. Come on, man. It's all going to be good. It's the exact opposite of what we're going to do. Like, how did that feel, Fernando? felt like you did not hear the pain I was in. Yeah. So the other way that would be uh, suboptimal would be to stay there and beneath it. So I'll be like, wow. Like, this is a great starting place right here. Brandon, brother, I'm hearing a lot of pain. Like, what's, what's, what's going on for you? Just, you know, trying to juggle, figuring out where we're going to shift and, you know, make the right decision. Wow. And, um, like, what are you doing? Do you want to talk about this for a couple minutes? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, just kind of, you know, talking to yeah, some energy, trust. energy increase already through matching and mirroring Santa's energy already began to increase. So first, what he needed was for me to connect with his pain. I'm not going to talk about the other 17 parts of the formula, just the matching and mirroring by me matching and mirroring his energy. He's already starting to rise and feel connected. That's happening. And there's other things I'm doing, but the matching and mirroring. So for the sake of time for today, we're not going to go through all of it. Meet people where they are. Ask them open-ended questions. Listen deeply. Don't, do not take things back to yourself. Stay connected to them. It's not about me. It's not like, yeah, me too, brother. Um, you know, just dealing with a lot. Not back to ourselves. 
stay with Brando, open listening, and accept this reality. As you develop your influencing skill sets, there are exponentially different results that are possible. Fernando, in every conversation you see me have with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, what is the likelihood that, uh, that they will connect with me and shift and be open to what I'm sharing? What is the likelihood on, on a 100-point scale? I'm going to lowball it and go like 90% of the time. Okay. And I will go in a one-on-one -on -one dynamic with 99.99% .99 of the time in a one-on-one -on -one conversation that people are open, listening, and connecting. Now, that's not meaning I'm getting a yes but it means they want to talk to me. They want to hear what I'm sharing. And it's not because I'm so magical and wonderful because I used to have people want to run from me in my early days of selling marketing when I was brutal and like had no idea how to do anything. So each day we're going to connect and check in. So for today, it's just match and mirror people. And third, our process mastery. And I'm going to continue this week to um, drill down on and rep, uh, repeat the critical importance of repetition not only for our skill development, our influence mastery, but also overall, when you're shooting, this is about shooting videos, begin shooting videos today. Shoot videos by yourself right now and then watch them. Shoot 60, first you should actually shoot 30 second videos repeatedly to improve your skill dynamics and your influence mastery. Get tight with what value you can add and teach people about. And I will share with you one of the great values that you can give to people in your influence mastery, which you should be uh, repping on videos in the process mastery I'm suggesting right now, is the ability to connect with where they are. Talk to people about the challenges and then give people hope and inspiration. So the process mastery check-in for today is to shoot videos yourself and to call at least five people and talk, to them to, uh, talk with them about doing something online. And when you talk to those people, check in on your fears. Like, what are you fearing when you talk to them in your self-mastery? Second, check in on where you are if you're matching and mirroring. And third, talk to them about doing webinars online together and assembling a group of people online. So webinars and assembling a group of people online. Those are the outcomes for today. Um, Jared, what's present for you, brother? So those are our process mastery, influence mastery, self-mastery, formula check-ins for today. We we'll create massive acceleration for together. Come back to this huddle. Give us a month. Be here every day and watch the conditioning shift in your behavior. You have a beautiful group of people that come here all the time. Join us and invite other people. Jared, what's up, brother? Hello, hello, everybody. There's some fire here today. I enjoyed my time. There was um, about 600 plus people that were present last night for our strategy session and our Q&A where we talked about like tactics, strategies, things to do right here, right now so that you can step into legendary. Because like we said last night, like what if this is happening like for us, not to us? different way of thinking about the same situation. And I'm not, not empathetic to it, right? We started this last night talking about how, like I know people that are sick. Like I know people that are like financially, like really suffering right now. I know people that have lost their jobs. So I'm very empathetic to it. But at the same time, what if it's happening for us and not to us? What if we're about to step into an opportunity where we have more time to do things we've always wanted to do, we just have the time to do them, and now we can do them and we emerge as a result. So what I'm really curious about is two people right now, like raise your hand, 30 seconds each, you can raise your hand. What's present for you? Two people only, 30 seconds, literally 30 seconds, what's present for you? Raise your hand, we will unmute you so that you have a chance to share what is present for you. So let's see who is going to have their hand raised here. All right, this is 30 seconds and I mean that, okay? Peter Swain, you can speak, 30 seconds. What is present for you, Peter Swain? Hey, Jared. Hey, Sean. Hey, Fernando. How are you all doing? Um, hey, brother. What's present for me is this is what we've all been gearing up for, right? This is massive change, massive opportunity, and this is the ability for people to step up as leaders, examine what they do, connect again with their families. I don't believe that life happens to you. I don't believe that life happens for you. I believe that life happens and you get to decide the meaning you put on it. And right now is such an opportunity for everybody to step up. 
serve, earn, give back, spend time with their family, true blessings. Awesome. Peter, awesome. Thank you for that beautiful share, brother. You are a uh, true warrior and genius. Thank you. So, Jared, awesome. please continue, bro. Karen G, what is present for you, Karen G? 30 seconds. What is present for you? Yeah, good morning. Last night was just on fire, Jared. You're, you filled me with so many ideas and um, reminded me of my own philosophy that anything is possible. So all you have to do is think about great possibilities. Just, just you know, and make them happen. And uh, don't get stuck. So thank you, thank you so much. It was, it was uh, very powerful, very powerful. Awesome, thank you. Thank you for being present. Thank you for your questions. Some administrative, exciting housekeeping stuff for everybody. Um, the other night on our Q&A, for our Unblinded Mastery program, I shared that I was gonna create an, a bonus module uh, teaching everybody how to become webinar wizards so that you can step into educating people with social distancing on a very consistent basis. Because for most of you, webinars are, might be like technologically scary and I wanna completely change that story and make them fun and exciting and magical, the same way that we're making sales fun, exciting and magical. So yesterday I spent time and I created a 60 minute bonus module on that exact topic. And what we're gonna do in service of our entire movement is make this module available for everybody, both mastery students and anyone else that you care about. Anyone else that's in our Facebook community, anyone else that shows up for our huddles. So be on the lookout either today or tomorrow. We're gonna to share how you can gain access and this is free, this is our gift to you in service of you because right here right now is an opportunity to commit to doing a webinar at least once a month, if not even every week. And this module is gonna show you exactly how to do it. So that's one piece of housekeeping. Next thing you'll see, because we're sharing our screen right here, um, make sure everybody that's on here today, and I mean like right now as in today, www.unblindedhuddle.com. Put your name, email, and phone number in the form and you will get daily email and text reminders so you never miss a huddle and some really fun surprises as well. And what we ask you to do is share this URL with everyone. This is what everyone needs. It's your daily dose of integrity-based human influence to start your day, right? This is one of the things we talked about last night. So I wanna make sure that everybody is signed up at www.unblindedhuddle.com dot com sign up you'll get an email you'll get a text message every day and some fun surprises as well in addition just so that everybody that's asking because many of you have the replay of last night it is two hours there were 77 questions that i answered and sean answered with me as well uh, the replay will be posted within the next few hours we will send out emails we'll post on social media share that with everyone it's a different way to look at the current situation back to you sean Amazing job. Listen, let's be here every day. Our outcome is to have 20 rocketing minutes. I know we went a little bit long as we're adjusting to this new format. 20 minutes to get the day started, not just inspirationally, aspirationally, but checking in our influence process and self-mastery. Amazing job on behalf of the entire Unblended team, Jared, Adam, Fernando, and everybody in the call center, our entire ecosystem. It is thankful Thursday, and I am thankful for you being here. I'm thankful for the massive contribution and investment of your energy and time here. And we want to move forward together. Go take action in those buckets we talked about. Talk to five people today. Check in on where your matching mirror is, what fears show up for you, and we'll keep advancing into fun Friday. See you tomorrow in the huddle. And tonight, for those in, in the program, um, massive role play coming up. Thanks. Have a great day.